by definition, we must move to renewable energy. I think people sometimes, you know, I mean, how can one argue against that? Because to argue for it is to say that we will eventually run out of energy and die. I mean, and, or, or civilization will collapse. So obviously we must find ways to produce energy in a renewable manner. Um, the question is just how hard we should try, what pace we should go at it. And I, I think logically we should go as fast as we can um, because uh, since we know we have to get there eventually, um, it, it's better to, to get to a renewable future, a sustainable future sooner rather than later, and get there before we do the environmental damage, not after. Um, and even if uh, one could say that, that, well, maybe there isn't that much environmental damage, to play the devil's advocate, maybe, maybe the environmental damage, maybe it won't be that bad. Why take the chance? Now, a lot of people would say, well, well, solar, can that really provide the energy that we need? A lot of people don't perhaps appreciate that solar energy is already uh, the source of the vast majority of Earth's energy. Um, w without solar power, we would be uh, a frozen uh, ice ball uh, at about three or four degrees above absolute zero. So really all we're talking about uh, for solar electricity is, t is taking the tiny, tiny bit of energy that the humanity needs for electricity, which, which, which is, I emphasize is super tiny compared to the amount of solar energy that hits the Earth. You could generate all the electricity that the United States needs with about um, a 100 mile by 100 mile grid of, of solar power. So you could just take like a corner of Arizona. <laughs> And that would be all the energy that the United States needs. I think the important thing to bear in mind with, with batteries is there really is no material shortage. The Earth crust has essentially an infinite amount of metal as far as humanity is concerned. We have barely scratched the surface of the, the, um, resor of, of the metal resource availability of the Earth's crust. Um, and, and this is a very fundamentally different thing from mining, mining coal or oil or, or, or you know, because um, metal is recycled. Um, so once you have enough metal to support a given size of industry, then it just keeps, it just keeps going in a, in a recycling process. I mean, there may be a small amount that exits the rec recycling process, but it's quite a small amount. Um, and uh, so for, for lithium-ion battery packs, uh, in, in the case of Tesla, te the, 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 the uh, cathode, uh, which is made of nickel, cobalt, and aluminum, uh, is the most expensive part in the, of, of the cell. Uh, the anode is made of, of carbon and, uh, and then there's a, a, a thin steel shell uh, in, around the cell. So um, the, 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 really the only part of that that is remotely uh, scarce and, and, I've, I've, and only slightly so is cobalt. Um, and that's why we moved from a pure cobalt cathode to nickel cobalt aluminum cathode, uh, which uses only about a quarter as much cobalt. Um, but there's, there's uh, as much nickel as you could possibly want, certainly as much as aluminum as, as you'd, you'd need, um, uh, no shortage of steel, uh, and, uh, and the cobalt uh, is it's expensive, but there's certainly plenty available to support all the world's needs. So there really is not some fundamental metals shortage um, with respect to battery packs. Then, and then as I mentioned, at the end of life you recycle them, um, so, and you can, you can think of a battery pack as basically really high-grade ore. Um, that's, it's, it's much more efficient to recycle a battery pack, um, which has essentially very high concentrations of nickel, cobalt, and aluminum, than it is to mine rock, which has a very low concentration. So, you know, it, it's, at, at end of life, um, a, a lithium-ion battery pack has still about uh, 10 to 20 percent of its value in, in as, as a recycling item. So you definitely pay, it pays to recycle.